Hi and warm welcome to the channel. Today we're going to take another look at uh, the MSI Prestige 14. This is a 14 inch laptop in a form factor as a 13, 13 inch laptop from last year. So you can see uh, the connections on this uh, device is uh, it's okay. It's um, two Thunderbolt 3 ports and two 2.0 USB Type A ports. And uh, also a micro SD card reader. That's uh, very nice, I think. So what we are going to do today, we are going to run some games um, uh, native on the laptop and connected to an eGPU. The eGPU is uh, Mantis Venus and uh, inside that um, eGPU we have an uh, RTX uh, 1080 Ti graphic card. So we will see, probably see um, very good results uh, running on that um, external graphics. So if you find this uh, video useful, please subscribe to the channel, it would really help me a lot. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you love it. So we're starting with uh, Far Cry 5. This is a very demanding game. It um, uses both uh, CPU and GPU. So um, let's first uh, run this with uh, the benchmark, the built-in benchmark tool, and see what results we have. So you can see on the graph it's uh, very much up and down in this uh, on this device, um, but uh, the scenes are of course uh, more demanding. Some of them, like this one uh, around the house, uh, with smoke and uh, yeah other particles. And now on the easier part, uh, just the, ski, uh, the sky and the plan, plane and the boat, so that uh, is not so demanding. So checking the results, we have, we can see the results here, uh, maximum 63 frames per second and minimum 43 frames per second. And it is quite good for uh, this entry level uh, graphics, uh, GTX um, 1650 Max-Q. So let's check out how it performs in real life gaming. Uh, this is just a short uh, uh, run, uh, some minutes only. And you can see the frame rates on the, on the left uh, upper corner. You can also see the temperatures, uh, and uh, they are quite high on the CPU. Sometimes over 90 degrees Celsius. Uh, that's uh, a little bit worrying uh, that uh, it can't really handle the the, the load here. Um, I would suggest uh, maybe do an um, um, repaste of the CPU and GPU and uh, apply some better thermal paste or even better would, to, would be to have uh, liquid metal of course but that is uh, quite risky and a uh, little bit hard to apply so I can see the results here uh, it's uh, this, as I told you it's, this is a very very demanding game and um, so it's around 50 frames per second, and uh, that's uh, that's good on, on, on a uh, GTX uh, 1650 Max Q. So let's go over to the eGPU and see what we can have uh, when running on this um, external graphics uh, RTX uh, 2080 Ti. mid-80s, sometimes uh, below of course, uh, down to 70. It's uh, of course not as good as if I have run, run this uh, test on an, um, uh, on my desktop uh, PC. 
because you lose some uh, when you're running on uh, an eGPU. Uh, quite natural because they have to go through several ports and protocols and so on. As you can see here, uh, the results uh, average at uh, 71 and that's uh, quite high on ultra settings, <laughs> of course. Um, so this is uh, real life gaming, a, a short, uh, short uh, example. So you can see the frame count on the, the upper left. Uh, it's around F 82 frames per second. And uh, you must remember this is a very demanding game. Probably the, one of the most demanding games I have. So. Uh, it's interesting to see what you think about this um, setup. Is it worth the money? Uh, the Mantis, uh, uh, Mantis uh, Venus cost around 250 US dollars. And the graphic card, of course, a lot more. So now uh, let's check out uh, Fortnite. And uh, first uh, on the laptop at high settings. You can see the frame counts uh, in the 60s, uh, sometimes below 60, uh, down to 50. But uh, this game can be quite demanding, uh, especially if you push it up to ultra settings. So sometimes it's up, uh, up at 70 frames per second. You can see here it's uh, 52 or 55. Sometimes uh, down to 40. So that's uh, maybe not uh, ideal to game on this uh, low frame counts. Let's uh, change the settings. Uh, from high to medium, I see. Uh, I think that uh, will be what most people will uh, use. You can see here, and now it's uh, up at uh, 120 frames per second, and that's uh, that's really good. And playing on this laptop uh, at this um, um, resolution, full HD, and uh, this kind of graphics, it's uh, it's amazing actually. It. Um, uh, good details and uh, yeah, it's uh, nice. So I'm more or less just uh, avoiding combat here because I'm very, very bad at this game. So now, uh, <coughs> higher the settings uh, when running on the eGPU to epic settings. You can see the frame count is on the upper right corner. So what do you think about this? Uh, you can see frame rates around 120 frames per second and that, that I, I guess is totally okay to game on. Um, this is of course ultra settings and that is uh, that demands uh, a good graphic card and uh, uh, doing this on an eGPU is quite amazing actually. I didn't think it would run so, so good. So what do you think uh, about this? Please uh, leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, I hope you can consider to subscribe to my channel because I really need your help. So thank you and have a nice evening. Bye bye.